Hi, and welcome to this video series on synthetic turf fields sponsored by SAS, Sunny Acres Sports Systems. SAS brings a wealth of experience and knowledge to the table with over 40 years of general contracting and sports field construction. I'm standing on a recently installed synthetic turf sports field at a local high school. Thousands of synthetic turf fields have been installed in high schools and colleges around the country. Synthetic turf fields offer a safer, low-maintenance alternative to natural turf. The fields accommodate multiple sports and can sustain far more wear and tear than a natural turf field. So how exactly are these fields put together? And what is the process for preparing a site like this one for installation? Sunny Acres Sports Systems has created this informative video series to answer some of these questions and guide you through the installation process. This video covers the actual installation of this and several other fields over a three-month period. This series will take you from the initial site survey through all of the steps involved in the base construction and conclude with a detailed step-by-step -step look at the three phases of synthetic turf installation as explained by the installers themselves. My role as an engineer on this project is to get the, the project on paper for the contractor to be able to see what needs to be built. And, and to do that, I have to go and, and, and look at the pre-existing conditions, try to look at any soil conditions that could possibly cause problems and try to minimize the effect after the contract's left. We uh, get the permits, the grading permit, the stormwater management, sediment and ocean control permits. We do the uh, soil borings to find out what kind of ground and, and what we need to do to satisfy the requirements for groundwater and, and sediment erosion control. These fields, of, uh, since they were just football fields, there's all kinds of material that was used for fill to get them level. And when they were just dirt, it wouldn't matter if something subsided, they would just go, go ahead and put some more dirt on there. Now with these fields, these lines are fixed on the field now, and the field has to remain flat, so we have to have a good base to know what's underneath that base so we know how deep to make the most economical section to keep it flat so these lines won't move all over the place. On this field, what we've accomplished here is we provided the school with a complete base structure, a drainage structure underneath of the field that allows us to maintain the entire water system on this field. We've installed the under drainage system, we've installed a stone base system, and then on top of that we put the synthetic turf and the synthetic turf, of course, is what you see, but it's an entire system that you have working now. You have a system that can be played on 365 days a year. You can have it played on any type of weather. Um, and the, the field will maintain the look that it, you now see from the time that we install the field until the time that the field is actually, its lifetime is up. So you need a base contractor who has the proper equipment, the proper skill to install all the components, such as the, the initial excavation, the installation of the stone and the drainage system. Also, the curbing or the drainage system that's required around the inside of the track. We have to take out the existing field, so we remove the existing uh, natural turf that's here, and we take that all the way down to what we call a sub-base, and we install a drainage system, and that's what, that, those are all the components that are, make up a synthetic turf system, but they're components we don't see. So we're actually connecting into existing stormwater systems so that we can control the water as it comes into the field and where it drains off to. Plus, on top of that, you have uh, filter fabric which is placed over the subgrade to make sure that the, the dirt doesn't mix in with the stone or in with the water. So you have clean water running off into the main stormwater system. And so you come in and you excavate all that out and then you take and you add the drainage system. You also add a stone under drainage system and the stone is a product that is, we call it a dynamic base. And it's a base product that has to perform two functions. It has to allow us the planarity that we need, which gives us a nice looking field, aesthetically pleasing level field with the, the type of crown that's called for in your sport. It also gives us a compaction. So we have to make sure that it meets a compaction so that when we, when we run equipment over top of the stone and also when players are using the field, that it doesn't move, it's a stable base.